DSS mocked Buhari's secret plan to hand over power to Osibajo, representing the interim, says my lead to bloodshed. Hey, the truth is finally dashed out. Um, in fact, I want to first of all comment um, this um, Nollywood actor Kenneth Okonkwo. In fact, this guy is too brainy is in fact for those of you that are still wanting to get information uh, that are still asking this very channel how una did they get una information i tell you um kenneth okonkwo has been a very vibrant and very strong um actor and a lawyer he has been feeding us everything that he saw and felt that is really presently happening in the in the in the judiciary and also in the supreme court and also all that has been swept under the carpet that they don't want anyone to be aware of in this very content kenneth okunkwa is the one um uh, vibrating and revealing all of this to the to the populace that look this is the secret this is the plan this is what is currently invoke that these people are planning to do <laughs> hey to read on tire up my people no be smarting make we check the content my people this is morning news the department of state services dss recently raised an alarm that it has identified some key players working to truncate the democracy of nigeria by planning to install an interim government to stop Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu from being sworn in as Nigerian president. The DSS has also mocked President Mubari's secret plan to install Osibajo, saying may lead to bloodshed. The agency, in a chain of statements issued its social media page, alleged that these people allegedly aim to achieve their objective by sponsoring violence, protests across Nigeria, and also by obtaining privileges court injunctions to forestall the inauguration of the incoming administration. The warning from DSS courts, the attention of the Labour Party notable members Kenneth Okonkwo, who described the DSS warning about obtaining frivolous court injunctions as a mockery targeted at the Nigerian judiciary. In reaction to the warning, Kenneth asked if the DSS is trying to describe the Nigerian judiciary as the arm of government that now issues frivolous court injunctions to truncate Nigerian democracy. In his words, he said, The official DSS NG marks the Nigerian judiciary, alleges that planners of entering government intend to use them to truncate democracy by making them issue frivolous injunction. Hmm. So Nigerian courts are now notorious injunction issuers. DSS should go further and expose them. <laughs> Nothing we no go here. Nothing we no go here. See, in this very channel, we go to review Tori, Tori, Tori upon Tori. You see, um, secret that has been hidden that a lot of us are not even aware of. Eh? will be reviewed this time around. You see, there are many things that have been scraped under the carpet. Before Buari went into power, and even now that he's preparing to leave power, all of them will be dashing out. All of them will be dashing out. You see, that is why they have said it that in Nigerian election, there is nothing like free and fair. I said it before this election started that we are just wasting our time. You understand? Going there to vote. I encourage people to vote. We all went to vote. I voted. But in my mind, I knew it that yes, we are wasting our time. Why did I say so? Because I know that those votes that we voted, those votes that we casted is a waste of time because it will never count. Ino go count. <laughs> yes, now, if the vote actually counted, why are we why are we experiencing this? If the vote actually counted, why are, are we actually facing this? This is the reality. This is the point of it. We have to tell ourselves the truth. You understand? We have to tell ourselves the truth, so that the devil will be ashamed. You get it. Yes, it, it never counted. 
Look at all the uh, 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 all the all the secret that is being uh, is being revealed now. We are not, and as the secret is being revealed, we are not even ashamed of ourselves. Look at other countries. See what they are taking note of. See, uh, I, oh, we don't finish for Nigeria. I'm telling you the truth. I don't need to hide it anymore. It has come to the point of this. It has come to the point of this. Let us make it open so that the world will know that this is what we have. Eh? Thank you so much, Kenneth Okonkwo, on this very issue. And for DSS that are mocking Buari's plan, you don't know Buari. You don't know him. Go and check his administration of 1983. Then you will know the kind of person he is and the decision that he can be able to take. You understand? I may not have been born then, but I tell you from my findings and from my personal research, eh? I knew it that this man is a no-nonsense person. He's someone that is very, very secretive and cannot be able to reveal all that he have installed in his mind. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And that is just the truth. My dear people, uh, hey, I, I am afraid of what really will happen on May 29. Will that very sworn in of Tunubu really take place? That is something that all of us need to be uh, nursing in mind right now. Well, just like I always tell you, just keep your fingers crossed. Let's keep watching. Let us not cause any violence because some people are actually out there looking for uh, for who they are going to put it on. on, on. <laughs> you understand? And that's just so, my people, my people, uh, no be smart, you know. Let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your take, what your advice, and what your opinion on all that has just been revealed right now may be. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.